So in the studio with me today, I have my dear friend, Dr. Irinal Stancho, who is a brilliant endocrinologist. You are fascinating. You and I, when Thank we get you, talking, Caroline. I just get so <laughs> absorbed in everything you say. Oh, you're so sweet. Welcome. <laughs> and I want to talk to you as a mom and as a doctor today, because I know you've got kids and, and we've chatted about this and I've you know, met your daughter. And, and um, I just want you to talk about as a, as a mom and as a doctor, what did, you know, just children and thinking yeah. and yeah. mind and hormones and all these things. <laughs> yes, and you know, when you have uh, preteen and teenagers, you know, it's... Uh, it's In their uh, dinner, uh, yeah. the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to engage them. I have two, two ideas. Engage their minds um, yeah. because they are bombarded with so many information and ideas and technology mm. and peer pressure and stuff like that. Um, and actually, I had some issues with my 12-year daughter at, the sa- at that time. Time. Yeah. And uh, learning from your program, especially the 21 day detox program you had um, at that time on the computer yes, and on so app. Online. So we yes. registered and we did it together because she was battling different thoughts, different yeah. things, you know, seeing in her peers um, a lot of things Emotional that she didn't things. see at home and she was struggling with that. And, uh, you know, I was like, what do I do? I don't want to go to a psychologist who know I didn't have one trustworthy. Exactly. <laughs> that you, yeah, yeah, near me. So we started that, um, that program and we did day by day. She actually yeah. loved it. We did it together because, you know, we yeah. prayed together. We kind of worked through the thoughts and... It's so good. It was so good. At the end of the program, she did not have those, you know, weird oh thoughts. Oh my gosh, and I'm excited. Like, <gasps> so that was practical for me. Oh, no, wow. it helped me too. But, you know, I mean, to see in her that she was different in a month just by doing those, you know, seven minutes a day thing. And That's we incredible. checked each other. So it works either either for oh children gosh, and it. teenagers. This is beautiful. And then look, you see you teaching her, you've given her a coping strategy. It, you worked with her because a lot of people ask me, how can they apply the 21 Day Detox online app and, and the program? Mm-hmm. two children and I always say you know you do it with them so you've done exactly you that you do it with them because they if you're relational t- I mean your yes. relationship would have it teaches me how to relate with them. How to see what she's thinking. Yes. Yeah. And then you don't take them to a stranger. Kids are going to be even more shocked to take them to a person and talk about exactly. They're not going to open up. They're not going to say much. But there exactly. with me in the family, it works differently. Exactly. And your programs are also very good in helping children to learn. Because here we have all I sorts of... many years working on that. <laughs> I know. So yes, because kids, sometimes in our school systems, you know, they're wow. given many more thing no homework not much and Learn if you give them the something is like you know repetitive there's yeah. no fun and you know it's kids awful. don't the education system has become such a drain it's really not so that's why i use your you know five principles again to kind of in a different way okay. just to kind of make learning you know um interesting and you know so thinking good. and she loves science now because you know oh. it's really why and i want to figure it out so she's very you know mathematical very intellectual, but even minds that are not mathematical or you know very scientific you know at least give them a, a skeleton you know exactly. a, a template that's right how to learn to really make that's good right. memories memories you don't cram everything you know the night before it takes a test. exactly it takes time it takes your cycles of 21 days and these five steps and you know they these these kids when they get that it's such a it's nice to have that structure my own four kids are taught the 21 day detox the five yeah. steps all of it i've done with yeah them as and well. also you know the anxiety that comes with learning and with preparations for stress because that's also very well defined in your in your books you know how not to be anxious how to deal with you know it's normal when you go to a test to have you know butterflies in your stomach stomach, but you say hey this is not you know the major test you train yourself you deal so it's actually very very helpful for my family so thank you so so much for that i'm so excited that in your busy schedule you actually took the time out but now how's that that's such an example for so many people that it doesn't matter how busy you are there's always time to you need to make a choice i love that so i I had to choose what's important for my family i cannot do everything you know sometimes we want to do everything exactly and we don't know how to say no exactly so that's what i learned is like this is the time she'll not gonna be in the house for too long now she needs me and you know i cut back a little bit on my 
you know, work, work so and, you know, my husband, um, he had to stay home to be able to deal with my schedule and All the house the activities things, yeah. and, you know, so we need to make some tough make decisions, some things, yeah. but you, we, you have to see what's it's important. It's a life investment, exactly. What's it's a important. life investment into helping. So instead of giving our children off to someone else to fix, we we should be, we've got the skills, we, the love, the relationship, the best kind of intervention for any child is a family, family God therapy. God gave me the children and exactly. he the, wants me to take care of them. Exactly. And I love to be a doctor, but see, you know, I you have to, to be a mom too. I love so to be a mom dance. too. And so, so it comes down to quantity, I mean, quality versus quantity because people think they've got to be with them all mm-hmm. the time, but it's actually no. the time you spend with them mm-hmm. needs to be full of, and that's what you've done. You've taken that time to do that. I want to ask you a quick question related to children related to this between 12 and 18 is the most challenging cycle in the entire human life cycle and that's when all the hormones as we know are raging and so mm-hmm. on can you just speak just very quickly to that situation to the effect of a child going through those hormonal changes yeah, and what but they're the, feeling and those hormonal changes are normal yes it's not you know they had it very you know good. three thousand years ago it's not like, like, it's not like ever, something new and mm-hmm. we make such a big deal of that yeah. what our children in this day and age don't have that parental involvement and that's that stillness uh-huh. this quality time in, you know good. relaxation we don't put the tv going all you know if it's something important we open up we listen but our tv is closed Off most the of the time mm-hmm. we don't allow you know all this technology to overwhelm us so you need yeah. to make as a parent different choices but you need to start actually when they're in you know a baby in the crib because you cannot just all of a sudden you know wake up at 12 oh my gosh you know so you need to well, you need, can but it's going to be 10 times it will more be very so. you need to build this relationship with a your child children, you're yeah. you're the authority figure but you're not just the authority you're, you're their loving, helper you're comfort. loving love like you dis- you know i mean it's love has love to is. be first but love sometimes is tough Yes. You know, sometimes there's some certain rules that you have to make because all this technology and all this busyness and all this TV and all this hurry hurry syndrome is affecting the physically whatever you do with your mind affects your body. So people's hormones go out of whack because of that. So, so. yeah, we do um, have more talks right now. You know That's about right. the hormones, about how the system functions. You know about the boys' attraction and all yeah. those things. So yeah. you, I answer to her questions, and believe me, sometimes it's hard. I come from work, working with patients, answering their questions, and, you and I come some... home and it's like, whoa, it's like, so Lord, sleep. help me. <laughs> now you got to answer another bunch of questions, but once again, you've got to make that decision. You have to make choice. the decision, yeah. and you know, sometimes what I notice that night, always the questions are more dramatic and more, you know, um, the, you know, Emotional. crisis, emotionally, I said, you know, our bodies are tired. And the My body is tired, tired. Yeah. your body is tired, this question I'm going to address it. It's not a life-threatening yes or no right now. You're fine. We're praying. We read a verse of the Bible. Let's talk about this tomorrow. So you need, need as a parent, you need to know which questions you need to answer right now and what you can pray about it. And my mind is better tomorrow morning and your mind is better. By the next morning, there is no crisis. It's, it's manageable, it's changing. And that's really good. You've taught the skill of not trying to react and answer the questions straight away, which throws your whole body and hormonal system into chaos. And if you continually do that, you've taught them to stand back, compartmentalize, and actually make a decision to talk about it when we come. And that's something not just for our kids, it's for ourselves as well. It's with our spouses, it's with our friends. It's with We all have hormones. Exactly. <laughs> okay. We all got hormones. And we've all got bodies. And our bodies are just going to do what our minds tell them to do. You so, you touched it. Our yeah. bodies will do what our minds will tell them to do. Our hormones will behave the if way. our minds behave. are behaving. And then we go, and if you have constant, because the research shows that a constant uh, stress, toxic stress, is more dangerous than a, you know, like the the, in, the, the big stuff now and then. Yeah. So if this constant, if you get into this constant uneasiness all the time, that's really going to constantly mess up. So it's very important that we help our kids and ourselves to not just fall into the pattern of constantly responding to, but actually being, okay, let's compartmentalize, let's put that over there, let's stand back, let's live, let's breathe, let's eat, let's sleep, let's, and come back to these things. And, and the hurry, hurry sickness syndrome we live in currently in this day and age mm-hmm. doesn't, you can get sucked up into it. We have to stand back and don't you agree? You just those put decisions? your stress response continuous. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a continuous pressure on your 
hormones, cortisol and adrenaline to really respond and be there all the time and insulin because all of this is going to be driven by going to be driven and obesity and we can talk for hours about, about that. that. <laughs> yeah, we'll do another podcast about the insulin and obesity and the eating yes. and everything. But what you put up a point you've just raised there as a doctor what you are giving is incredibly invaluable advice that we we you 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 seeing it every day in your practice as a mom as a as a as, you, as a woman who's gone mm-hmm. through breast cancer yeah. and there's one of our previous podcasts you spoke about that experience that I'm going to definitely recommend the listeners go and listen to um, but just the importance of recognizing that the mind and the body impact and how there is really is a connection They're you connected. are seeing it yes. and the tablet's not going to fix that we seriously need to focus on the fact that we need to get our minds under control. Thank you so much for being here. So again nice today. to be with you. Thank and you. And I know Caroline. that you're going to be coming back again because we haven't we just begun the discussion. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so bye bye. Bye.